Welcome to Clems Lab. For this episode, I want to show you where we are at after two years of uh, work on the house. And so I thought instead of going step by step, I would just do a big uh, vlog so that I can uh, comment on the things we've done. All right, let's go. So this is the balcony that you saw in the previous video. And we're going to enter from uh, uh, from the apartment. So the, the bottom part that we did uh, first. Uh, so this is the door, still no handle. Um, all right. So we've built we've built this apartment um, first so that we could stay in it uh, while we we're building the rest. Um, so we we try to we try to go fast here and we also made all the mistakes here. Um, but it's starting to look all right. So we have a a nice. Uh, a nice closet here. Uh, we did a little kitchen here that we found on the on the Craigslist, a French Craigslist um, that we took from someone and then placed there. Um, so for the for the floor, we went for some like a fake uh, hardwood floor that's super easy to to, to put on and uh, can resist a, a lot of tear more easily than the the hardwood. Um, this is the this is a, the real room with a nice view. Um, so in this same thing, same floor, uh, you can see sort of the mistakes. So we put a lot of um, um, you know, plasterboards up there. It was the first time we were doing it, so you can see still see the mark. Uh, that's definitely the some of the some of the things we learned. It gets better on the on the upper floors. This is a or like a bathroom uh, with some tiles. Also the first time we were putting in tiles, so definitely not perfect. Um, and the shower that gave us a lot of problems to to finish. Um, so all the all the the water and electricity goes in that wall. Um, so this 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 apartment is meant as a to be rented also and uh, uh yeah for us to to be able to stay there while we're finishing the the rest this is the the workshop still in a big mess that's uh, for future videos um all right this is the gear room and so i so so i built a lot of those furnitures uh just using uh uh pine planks um and then dowels and, uh, and, uh, and and screws. It's it's actually quite. I'm quite happy with the results of this. Uh, it's really practical to store a lot of stuff. And as you can see, you have all the mountaineering gear, the uh, the stuff for the pantry. Still a lot of uh, wood that's stored here and there, and also also a big mess. So we keep a lot of the mess here. Um, let's see. You can see. You can still see sort of what we. What we've done in terms of like using those uh, uh, styrofoam boards, and then on top of it, we just uh, we just just use a glue that put to put plaster plaster boards, um, or what we do for uh, wood, like we did, like we did here, here. Uh, so we had like little, small like very small pieces of wood vertically. That are uh, screwed or, or like um, hammered in the in the wall, and then we we add, we we nail the the planks in. So that works that works really easily. Uh, it's much more enjoyable than the, the plaster. Um, for the electricity, so we have the all the all of our electricity here. Um, it's starting to be good. We still have a a few things before the the inspection. Uh, and then a lot of the cables are in a big mess behind, so it's all gonna be hidden in a in a in a nice uh, nice wall. Um, same with plumbing. So first time I was doing plumbing, so it's definitely not a, a model to follow. Um, and I've learned to get better with the different systems we used. Um, uh, so first I was using more of this PR like a. Uh, tubes that are red and red and blue uh, and then I learned about uh, this 
this this other thing we call it multi-layer multi-couche uh, much it's much nicer to bend uh, and so on so um but yeah it works it works uh, it doesn't leak too much uh and it's getting better uh, i still have a, a lot to do about it for for the heating we were still using uh so electric uh it's an electric uh heating that heats the water and la later on we're just going to replace this with a with a heat pump but that was like the easy way uh and cheap way to 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 go fast for for now um so so yeah so you, it, you can see the you can sort of see the uh, the pipes that, that are that are going in the in the floor of the apartments um and then there's a big one that goes upstairs also for the for the floor so so i'm starting to go up um you can see the the garage which is the which is the part that we added uh, with like storage for on this side and also on this side um it's really nice to have the the garage it's still also a big mess of stuff but uh but we have a we have more more storage that way i can keep the the wood tools there uh so i'm not making a mess or being too cold outside um cool so oh yeah so here you can sort of see you can sort of see the different layers that we have on the on the floor so this is the styrofoam uh plus concrete layer that you saw in one of the videos if you haven't it uh, check it check it here um and then we we have so we have the heating floor pipes with a little layer of a uh, of styrofoam uh in between that are here and then there and then we we put another layer of uh, much much uh, uh much more liquid vi viscous uh, self-leveling concrete um and then on top of this, we have the hardwood floor. Uh, there you go. So that's uh, that's glued in. And, um, for it's it's what was recommended to us for big uh, surfaces. So these are the stairs uh, that we that I also did recently. Um, okay, so we're now on the first floor. Uh, where we have the big windows. Uh, and the kitchen so we decided to have like this island it's really practical to to um to to cook so the way we did the ki the kitchen was uh we used uh some uh, ikea uh cabinets um but then we wanted to have more of an old wood look so uh so we found this uh it's not plywood but it's almost plywood it's like uh, like three layers of different woods so to make it uh look old, like old wood on the side but it's also uh, well, like a uh, good structurally um what else we have uh the sink here uh we also put like a lot of those uh, those the store of tiles so it's, it it looks like tiles but it's kind of like uh, stones um, super super nice uh, rendering and then uh, at the top we put uh, the the old wood so it's very much similar to the the siding um, uh, so we got a very good deal with with this so we put it everywhere it looks like old wood um, it's actually what we put outside too so um, so for this uh, we use the nail gun and the, na the nails go sideways uh, in so that that way you don't see the you don't see the the the, the nails and then we have a a few old old beams so those are like beams that they they get from uh, like reclaimed wood from uh, very old houses that are then uh, sliced and to to make it look like it's an old beam so um, what we do is basically on the on the ceilings and on the on the side of between between two uh between two planks, we have this uh, like non nice looking uh, uh, um, like hole in the, in between them. So we we add the plan the the fake beams there, and it looks really nice. Um, we're super happy with the with the result. Um, so yeah, and uh, 
yeah and so here it's also so on this floor we're not anymore on uh, on concrete walls so we're not we don't have the styrofoam we have the the, the wood um, uh, it's all wood uh, and then inside you have the insulation um, and then we and then we add uh, also plaster uh, plasterboard also on like these small slices of uh, of wood um, let's see so here we're still working on the on the chimney that's gonna go from here to here uh, find a, a nice stove that's uh, that's for rice against the time before the winter um, yeah so you can see sort of the the techniques we used for for the for the wood, I think you can still see, you know, here. Maybe you see the the insulation, uh, and then and then a little bit of wood, and then we we put all the planks. Um, same for the so we did some some wood walls with the same technique, same uh, same fake fake beams, and then uh, old wood everywhere. Um, for the stairs, I did a bit, something a bit different. Um, but um, it's basically uh, we did a, a, did a structure with OSB and then um, we found those uh, planks of uh, oaks that then I uh, I recut and then use also some of the old old wood on the side. We didn't want to use the old wood on the on the feet because it's not really nice to walk on. Um, uh, but uh, but this goes really well with the with the hardwood floor. Um, okay, so this is the this is the top. There is still a lot of uh, work there, but you can see. I think it's a good gives you a good idea of how things work. Um, uh, so you can still see the you can still see some of the the wood um, and the way the the structure of the house is done with the with all the the beams and the and the places for the insulation. Um, yeah, so all of here we also had to. Uh, to do for the ceilings, we also put the old wood there. Uh, same thing, and then it, before before that, we put the insulation in in the roof, uh, and then actually two types of, of insulation. Let me show you. So this is this is the, the work work area where we have a, the, some some tools um, and. We have also another nice little bathroom that we we used. So the we got better. The higher we go, the the better we got in terms of uh, finishes, because uh, we learn along the way. So, um, but yeah, this is the favorite room of the house for a lot of people. It's like uh, really under the ceiling, a small a small room, um, and and yeah, you can see here it's sort of the insulation that we have. So we have. We have wood fiber, and then we have a layer of a uh, of like um, a polyurethane uh, insulation, and then and then this piece of wood like this, and then and then we nail we nail the the planks on them. All right, and then all the way at the top, there is a like space for for storage uh, and future future things. Um, let's see what else can I show you. And this is, this is another room that we've been made. That's a that's our, our room at the moment. And we're still working on the on this on this uh, this bathroom uh, to be finished. Um, so yeah, so it's like we've we've entered the part of the house build where it's all about uh, the finishes, uh, finishing touches. So like it's like. It's livable and and so on, but we we still have a lot of little things here and there, little details uh, like a you know like a a bit missing here, uh, like a, the the little side uh, around the around the ceiling and so on. Um, so still a lot of work, but uh, definitely you know starting to be comfortable here, um, and allows also for uh, for for working on other stuff than just the house. All right, I hope uh, this was useful for for you guys to see the uh, all the systems we we've used. Uh, 
don't hesitate to let me know in the comments if you uh, if you have questions or something in particular you want me to uh, talk more about um, and uh, and yeah and if you want to see more about the tools coming in the future projects don't forget to subscribe all right see you guys